This is Rob Burnham, make a preacher man R&B, and this is an episode of Richard TV 91. It's time to do another episode of movie reviews. It's time to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadow. What happens in this movie is the turtles go after Shredder whenever he breaks out of prison. And when he breaks out of prison, Baxter Stockman makes this portal device that he uh, uh, found, and he fine-tunes it or whatever, and Shredder jumps into the portal, but it takes him to Crane, and Crane has this plan to come to earth and conquer earth from the, the crane dimension that he's from and he gets shredder to get all the pieces that he needs to be able to do this so shredder gets rock stadium beat bop uses the purple mutagen that crane gives him to transform them into their uh comic book forms the rhino and the warthog and rock stadium bebop get the last two pieces of the machine that they need even though the turtles are trying to stop them the turtles are kind of button heads in this movie because mikey and raf wants to use the mutagen to become human leonardo and don Taylor doesn't really want to do that so they're button heads in this movie and they finally come together at the end of the movie and shredder meets up with crane toward the end fight and gets betrayed by crane and frozen in the ship and then the turtles with the help of the nypd because casey jones and uh, April O'Neil clear their name. It, it, the turtles have the infight with Crane and is able to defeat Crane and send his ship back to his dimension with the help of April O'Neil and uh, Casey, uh, Casey Jones taking on Bebop and Rocksteady and uh, Karai to stop the portal or whatever. And that's all that really happened. Uh, if y'all have ever watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, what'd y'all like about it? As always, Preacher Man R&B signing out. Guys, GG's awesome. It's been an episode of Richard TV 901. See you next time.